How do you use two images on one material when you want them to be different scales or in different locations? Well, the simple answer is you need two different UV maps. Let me show you how to do that. So here I have a basic cube turned into a wall with a simple PBR texture here. It has all the basic, you know, normal texture maps for a brick wall, the bump, the high, the displacement, which I'm not using, the roughness, color, and ambient inclusion up top. Let's look at the UV map for this thing. I have it sized up pretty large because this is a large brick wall, I imagined. And I could really put this anywhere, it doesn't matter. But the scale to me, I liked it to be around here. So let's say we want to put a logo or graffiti or some other texture feature on here, like some grime or something. How do we do that? Well, first let's go to the shader editor. And let's move these out a little bit. What I'm going to do in this example is I'm going to add another texture image, just like one of these over here, mixing into the color data. Now you could add a whole new PBR setup up here and blend it right here with a mix shader, but I'm going to keep things simple and just blend in some new data on top of this brick wall and mix it into the color data here. That will be a good example of using graffiti where you don't really care about the other maps at this moment. So let's copy this base color, shift D. Let's copy this right here, which is a mix RGB. And I'm going to plug in the new image texture node and let's put this on mix. So I found a super generic graffiti image here from cleanpng.com. I'm going to slap on this wall. I'm going to click open and instantly it is uh, <laughs> upside down and tiling just like the brick texture is. That's because the brick texture and the graffiti image are using the same UV map, which is not what we want. Let's go over here in the object data properties and go to UV maps. And we see here this first one, which is always by default made in any object. This is for the brick. So we can call this brick UV, enter. Let's make a new one by clicking the plus button and name this graffiti UV, enter. Up here in the note editor, we see here the texture coordinates node has the UV output. I think by default, that's always gonna use a very first slot. So we don't have to tell it what one to look at. It's always gonna look at number one or the first one on top. However, up here for this image, we want to use a different UV. So shift A, click on search and just type in UV map. There it is. And we're going to select the graffiti and plug this into here. And now we can actually edit that UV map and make it unique for just the graffiti image. We'll, we'll fix the masking and the, the transparency thing in a minute. So let's switch over to the UV editor. This is super important. You need to do two things. Make sure you're viewing the right image. So we want to look at the graffiti. And in edit mode, you can actually select which UV you're editing. So we're going to change the graffiti UV. And now we can do this. We can scale this and rotate it. So I'm going to rotate this R180, enter. There we go. And let's make it about that big. Okay, cool. Tab out of edit mode. Let's go back to the shader editor. Here's a cool trick. If you don't want the image to repeat, you can actually turn that off by going to the actual image texture and change repeat to clip. And we lost it. I think we need to go back to our UV editor and uh, let's see which square is it. Oh, there it is, it's that one. But uh, yeah, let's put it right there. All right, now the brick looks really dark and weird. Let's go back to the shader editor and let's see what's going on there. Um, it is mixing using the mix factor. So we can actually just mix between uh, the brick and over here is the graffiti, but there is transparency behind the graffiti image. So we're actually going to plug in the alpha, which is alpha, the background data from the graffiti image down into the mix factor. And now, boom, perfect. Now remember, on top of the graffiti, uh, colors are still the data from this roughness map and this bump. So it is only the color data that we're adding on top of the brick, which is the graffiti image. And that is how you use two UV maps with one material, multiple images. You can keep stacking these and add as many UV maps as you need. Just be sure you name them appropriately and know which one you're editing because it's easy to go back into the UV editor thinking I'm editing the brick one and I'm not. I'm going to screw up my graffiti texture. So be sure in edit mode to change uh, to the appropriate one right here. Thanks for watching and check out my Blender playlist for other tutorials.